Hi guys, Starshift here. Welcome to my new series called Getting to Steel. The intent of this is to show any Bethamals beginners and any also any experienced players just the core route through to get to Steel and beyond potentially. So this is intended as a tutorial of sorts. I'm going to go through the items that you need to get in order to get through to Steel. Um, and I'm also going to make some certain assumptions around how far you've already got in the game. So I'm going to assume you know how to play Minecraft. I'm going to assume you've gone to the Nether um, and mined Netherrack. I'm also going to assume you've grown some hemp. So I've got some a couple of piston farmed hemp's there, enough to and ground it using a millstone and a hand crank to get enough fibers to make a windmill, um, and then hopefully also some gearboxes and axles to power your millstone um, and that's where we're going to start so I'll just give you a quick tour of the sort of basic base I've got set up so tree farm there space for our stewing pot this will be the sawmill and I'll install the saw in that in, in this episode got a dung farm a collection of animal currently I guess pits or we got two hemp farms there, a wheat farm, and then another couple of hemp farms. So I'll stop flying now, and we can start playing. So the first item we're going to look at today is the, the stewing pot. So in order to make a stewing pot, you need iron, a bone, and a water bucket. Just while I'm, I'm up this end, I'm going to get some leather from some cows to help us when we make our saw. So just grab some leather. Okay, so a stewing pot is made like so. Gives us a stewing pot. We also get the bucket back. Notice my dung farmers produce some dung, and I'm going to get some leather scouring, which is our step in order to make tanned leather. So here's our spot for the stewing pot. So I've got some leather rack on the ground, so I'm just going to light that with flint and steel, and then place the stewing pot, and cover up the pit. So there's our stewing pot. That can be used to make, you know, various types of food, donuts, etc. So coming back to our millstone, you see I've got a couple of pieces, or three pieces of scoured leather. If I take the scoured leather from the millstone and put it into the stewing pot, along with some dung, it will be processed and I will get some tanned leather. There we go. So this tanned leather can be used at a crafting table to make strap and then this strap these straps can be arranged in a diamond pattern to give us a belt. In order to make the saw, the belt goes in the middle, gears around the outside, a couple of wooden planks at the bottom corners and then iron along the top and that gives us a saw. So before I install the saw, I'm going to start making some filaments for light blocks. And you can use string or hemp fibers, redstone and glowstone dust. And one of each of these will produce one fiber, which will allow you to make one light block. And that can be used to significantly speed up our hemp production. So you can see here, I've got the basis of a sawmill set up already. I've run mechanical power from our windmill through into here. I then place the saw and I'll cover up this siding. If I place blocks there the saw will cut them. So I'm just going to hold down for a little while and collect a few sidings and then get some mouldings and some corners as well. Or the other way around. Okay, a little bit more And I 
these are mouldings, that's sidings. So I turn my sidings into mouldings. Should be fine, and then turn some of the mouldings into corners. You can then turn the corners into gears if you desire. And saw can be used for many purposes, so um but a lot of these these blocks can actually be used in high efficiency recipes as well as some of the higher tier blocks. So that should do for now. So if I come back to my stewing pot you can see I have some filaments already processed. So if I grab them. Now in order to make the light block I need some redstone. Place the filament in the middle. I need some panes of glass actually. Place the panes of glass on the outside and then some redstone on the bottom. It gives us some light blocks. So I go install them in the hemp farm. So you can see I, I've already got a line of powered redstone running along the middle, so I can just install these above the hemp. Obviously you will probably want to finish off all your farms. Okay, so just to check what we've covered so far. So we've constructed a stewing pot and heated it with nether rack. We've improved our hemp production through the use of light box. We've tanned some leather and constructed a saw. And we've also processed wood into moulding sidings and corners. So next we're going to construct a hopper and also start using water wheels. So both of these recipes require some of the items we've got here, so mouldings and corners. So and all of these together cover ages the age of wood tiers two and three. So the next episodes we'll be looking to cover four and five. So if I finish this off hoppers, the most useful items in batten walls in my opinion. Got wooden pressure plate in the middle, sidings along the top corners corner at the bottom and then some gears on either side give us some hoppers. So and these are valuable to install at your farms. This will allow us to set up a timer harvester um, without having to worry about losing items or being around to collect. So I'll put some there as well. So finally, our final item is to replace this windmill, because windmills are the bane of the weather, or at the mercy of the elements. So we're going to replace it with a water wheel. In order to make a water wheel, we need some siding in this pattern, and then some slime balls in the middle. And this gives us, luckily, eight wooden blades. If you then arrange these in a circle, get a water wheel. So I before the next video I'll disassemble the windmill setup, but for now we can just remove this axle and change the output. I love this new feature of Batten Walls, fantastic. Change the output to face where we've got a space for water wheel, we've got water running along below in a 5 by 5 block. Here's the water wheel, you see it turning. Just check that, yep, the millstone is being powered. So that's it for today's episode. As you can see, we, we covered a couple of ages. Next, we're going to look at grinding netherrack, making some hibachis, using them to our power our cauldron but also um, to start cre creating pottery as well so we'll also make some turntables and looking at making some bellows as well to stoke the fire so hope you enjoyed the episode any questions just let me know cheers Stash